Southwest Airlines to allow in-flight cell phone calls, but passengers can't make calls within 250 miles of the U.S. due to FAA regulations. Airlines here hoping that changes. My next guest is the guy who brought us live TV on flights, Dave Nealman, the founder of JetBlue. He's now the CEO of Azul Brazilian Airlines. Dave, good to have you. Thank you. Thanks for having me again. Um, what do you think of this cell phone service on flights? It's, it's mixed. You know, I mean, there's a lot of, you know, if you have to call ahead, your flight's late, you have to get a hold of someone, your daughter's pregnant, having a baby, you want to find out if she had it. There's a lot of, you know, need to have it. But then you don't want someone gag, gabbing with their, uh, their girlfriend for four hours next to you. Uh, so I, I think there's moderation. I think it's nice. Well, how is this have the option. doing it? Do they have like their own little Wi-Fi zone on the plane? Or? Well, I, you know, just from what I've read, it, it basically um, there's always six people total that can use it. So um, there's certain it's a it's a line a GPS line to I a satellite. You. So there's limited usage. Um, you know, they're very well aware. Virgin Atlantic is aware that they don't want people. Uh, screaming into their phone. That's what I'm going to be next to that dude. I know. I know. I'll be next so, to that guy. So, uh, you know, that, that was always my concern. Do you find this stuff, though, that all of this stuff does interfere or potentially could interfere with the, the running of the plane? No, absolutely not. Yeah. No, it doesn't. So you remember you know, that I, guy, maybe it was a jet blue plane, your old one, that uh, I guess he was using his phone, his iPhone or whatever, to, to record birds hitting the plane. And uh, the airline jumped ugly on it and said, you know, we're, we're looking at investigating why you were doing that when you were supposed to have that thing off. Well, I, you know, I think I've been down. There's some the FA labs down in at Atlantic City, and we've been down there to talk to all the scientists. And, you know, I, there's no evidence that that has anything to do with it. I mean, a lot of people leave their cell phones on during every flight. So, right, right. you know, there's a lot of people that are sneaking under their newspapers or whatever, and it hasn't affected one single flight yet. Yet. I think they're just they're just careful not to distract people during takeoff and landing. Right. You know, they allow you to lose, use your phones during flight. But we are it, moving more to that way. We're we're, we're 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 we won't be in the block when we're flying, right? I mean, whether it's devices like planes, you were the first, you know, to, to you, hey, you can watch TV and movies throughout right. the flight, and then you know, internet and everything else. So we're going to be able to do up in the air everything we're doing on the ground, right? Yeah, I think it, you know, my, my concept with TV is flying was such a horrible experience. And so if I have, you know, I have attention deficit disorder, so I went crazy on airplanes. So it'd be great to kind of be entertained and make travel just a neutral experience, you know, just so it isn't bad. If it's positive, I thought people would travel more, and it really worked for JetBlue. It did. And it's it working did. for Azul because we just started TV, live TV down there, too. Yeah, did you really? Brazilians um, love, love TV, too. Um, I, I don't want to get into any of this stuff with Jeb Blue, but I do want to get into a little bit of politics, the Mitt Romney thing. I know you're a big backer of his. There's a big war on private capital. It is what it's stated to be, private capital. But he has not closed the argument that this is a good thing, that, that apparently what's winning out is that government money and government-supported bailouts are a better thing. <laughs> What's happened? It's just nuts. I mean, you look at every great success story in the United States, you know, Google, Facebook, JetBlue, all backed by venture capital and private equity, every single one of them. I mean, as I, you couldn't start a business in the United States today if you were to go to, like, a bank and say, oh, can you loan me money to start this business? Every, there's no bank in the so world that would have loaned money this for JetBlue. why do they look at this sinister? Because they want to win an election. I mean, it's certainly not sinister. But I you mean, do... It, the pendulum seems to have swung. It's not just the president, where people are almost suspicious and resentful. Well, they, a lot of people who are suspicious and resentful have jobs because of private equity. And I think it's just an education process. I mean, I think, you know, um, the, there's so much polling data that goes on. And people are trying to figure out, okay, people are discontent. People are out of work. Let's figure out who we can attack. Let's figure out who we can belittle. Let's figure out who we can you know, drive down. And I think they think that, the, you know, the people that are that are accusing Mitt of doing, you know, things at Bain Capital that were unscrupulous or heartless know nothing about private equity or how it works. They just good think luck, that... Good, they, luck, they, good they, luck teaching. They, they think it pulls teaching. well. They think it pulls well. So, it pulls okay, very well. It pulls well, so let's try and let's find that little chink in his armor. You know, you had a guest on just a, a couple of guests ago, I mean, just today, 
And I was in the room with her, and she was saying, I love Mitt Romney. He backed my company. If it wouldn't have been for him, he was on my board. He helped me. I made so much money because of him. He's the most amazing man ever. Yeah, that story you know, so told. the guy is, 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 is an incredible person, and, and it's just a shame to watch you know, what they're trying to do to win an election because the early. polling Balls data says they should. Very tight. Real quickly, Facebook, would you get into that one? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think so. Really? Why? You know, I think it's it's kind of this herd mentality. You know, everybody wants in, and and uh, yeah, that's what worries me. When everyone yeah. says it's wonderful, then yeah, I mean, there was that the article you know today saying that uh, GM's not advertising because right. it doesn't work. So the reason I mean, GM telling you you're not working is not necessarily not necessarily a but the, the reason Google works is because when I place an ad on Google. I can tell exactly how many hits I get off that ad, and I can drive the revenue that I got off of that ad. That's why Google is so amazing, because I buy keywords, I get it, I you know. You don't feel that way about Facebook. I can tell about new customers coming in. Uh, we haven't done a lot with None Facebook. None of your 58 kids use Facebook, though? I only have nine, <laughs> but they all use it, and they like it. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see. Let's we'll see, see if they can, uh, they, they got to generate the revenue to, to pay for that yeah, market cap. It's a big question. It's a big one. Dave, it's always good seeing you. Thank you very much.